When we're digging the bones of the dinosaurs, we're also very interested in learning about their habitat and their environment when they were alive. So we actually try to collect other things as we're, as we're working on the bones. One of those things that we find are these fossil leaves. And as you can see here, this one is still somewhat buried in the rock, but when we get back to the lab, we'll be able to uncover it and be able to get a good identification of it. Some of the leaves or fossil plants we find are actually identifiable right away. This sequoia cone, for instance, you can tell exactly what it is when, as we collected it. Now, in addition to sequoia, which are actually redwood trees, we find Araucaria, monkey puzzle trees, here with these dinosaur bones. This tells us that the climate here was very, very different than what it was like today. It was much warmer. It didn't actually freeze at night, as it does in the winter. We get down to 50 below, but uh, it didn't do that 65 million years ago. It was quite a warm climate. So that's what was needed, places where dinosaurs would feel at home. These days, they are pretty hard to find. It has been a complete nightmare trying to find locations. And if I had to put my finger on one reason, it's grass. Grass never appeared in dinosaur times, and yet grass is all over this world. And even when we find wonderful trees, there's always grass in there amongst them. And you want a bit of clear area to stick your dinosaur, and you'll find grass. There are, though, still places where the right habitats exist. In the course of making the series, the film crew traveled far and wide to locations that reflect what the world was like back in the time of dinosaurs. The Triassic of 220 million years ago was discovered in the eerie setting of New Caledonia. The land of Jurassic giants was found in the redwood forests of California and the lava fields of Chile were a match for the Cretaceous of 65 million years ago. At the moment, we're filming a mother Tyrannosaurus feeding her young, and she lived just at the end of the time of dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus was only around for the last two million years. And to film it, we've come to this place, which is in Chile, and there's an ideal forest here because what we have is a low, scrubby Nothophagus, which is a southern beach, came along just at the end of the time of dinosaurs. And behind it, this wonderful Araucaria forest or monkey puzzle. Now, monkey puzzles have been around since before the time of the dinosaurs, so the combination is ideal. But what makes it really special is it's on an old ash field because of a nearby volcano. And there's no grass here because of that. So it all fits together to be the right sort of background for Tyrannosaurus. Can you reach over enough? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Now the eyes. Um, the eyes, Jamie. Accompanying the film trips was an assortment of animatronics. This is a baby Tyrannosaurus puppet with remote control nostrils. Ever so slightly squeeze, that's all, and then do the nostrils by lot. Okay. In you come, Andy and you're a bit reluctant, come closer to it, sniff. Now back off a bit, now come in again. They were used for all the close-up shots. And back off now, Andy, and you come. Go in, Jess. The larger head represents down, down, the mother. Back a bit towards you, down, 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 push. And out again. All right, let's just try that one more time. It's all happening a bit delicately, cut a minute. You've got to be more positive. Keep that lower jaw absolutely still, Jez. Mm -hmm. And then try and be more positive. Come in with a firm movement and shove. Turn over. Uh, Running. Right. Everyone set. It's good. Yeah. I'm off it. You Are you turning? Yeah. Running. In your car, Andy. Now you have a look. And you sniff the air a bit. And then you look up. And you back off. Good. That's nice. And pull it out. The animatronics were, in a sense, only bit parts. They were not complete animals. Those had yet to come to life. That would be next. Mm -hmm.